We need to talk about Pierce Morgan's obsession with Meghan and Harry. And at this point, let's be honest, it is an obsession. It's, it's borderline criminal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a brand new documentary coming out very soon on Netflix. And so they should. Pierce, to no one's surprise, has not wasted any time in responding to the new trailer that's been posted by Netflix themselves. Uh, he started off by tweeting, oh my God, this is already vomit inducing. He went on to say, imagine bleating about privacy and then doing a kiss and tell reality series about your private lives. Then imagine preaching compassion as you trust your family again. Then imagine releasing the first trailer deliberately to ruin your brother's trip to America. Repulsive hypocrites. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is coming from the guy that created a whole seven days worth of drama over a single interview with Cristiano Ronaldo. The build-up that we had with that interview, he literally drip-fed us the trailers and little snippets of content all the way throughout the week, building it up, dramatizing it. Now he's turning to Meghan and Harry for doing the same. <laughs> it seems a bit hypocritical. It does make you wonder, is he offended by the documentary itself or the fact that it's actually Meghan and Harry and not him profiting over a documentary that hurts him more? Meghan and Harry have filmed a new documentary on Netflix, which will go to expose the royal family, the secrets within it, the stuff they've experienced over the last few years. Uh, I've no doubt that they're going to address things like the media's attention and the scrutiny that, you know, Meghan has faced over the years. They've had a similar thing where they've sat down with Oprah and talked about it. But I think this documentary is going to give a real insight into what's been going on behind the scenes. It is, there's a demand out there for it. I can see why they're doing it, but I can also see the other side of people saying is this something that should be dramatized maybe these kind of things should be sorted out in the background but i do feel we're at a point now where these kind of things it's so great to see stuff like this being talked about in the open and we need to be exposing it especially in the last few days with the recent incident that's happened involving the royal family i'm seeing a lot of people saying that they're attention seeking again they say that they want privacy but then why are they filming a documentary about their whole lives you need to understand what they mean when they say they want privacy. They want to share aspects of their lives that they choose to share. There's a difference between the media just putting out absolutely everything about their lives and them actually getting to direct and narrate their lives and their story. I just find it really bizarre that Piss Morgan goes on about free speech and, you know, free speech and cancel culture and all of this. But Meghan and Harry... Surely this is a form of expressing their free speech here. There's a lot of hypocrisy there. He's been gunning for her for quite some while. The lengths that he went to to build that Cristiano Ronaldo interview recently, I made a whole video about it if you want to go check it out uh, on my channel where I talk about Piss Morgan and how he's, he's so ruthless and the way he uses these people's real life stories and experiences to his advantage in a way it, it, it is messed up. I have got no doubt whatsoever that Piers Morgan would bite the hands of Harry and Meghan if they agreed to an interview with him. I've got no doubt about that. Piers actually responded to a recent tweet. Uh, someone replied to the thread about Meghan and Harry's new documentary saying that you're a bully man, leave them to live their life. Uh, he responded, they don't want to be left alone and they're bullying the royal family. Uh, there's a lot going on there. Always makes me laugh when deluded Meghan and Harry supporters scream, leave them alone, as self-evidently the very last thing these shameless, greedy, family-trashing, attention-seeking grifters want is to be left alone. Now, listen to this, right? So he, he posts all of that, and then he actually goes on to write an article for The Sun saying, my take on Meghan and Harry's new documentary trailer, spoiler alert, it made me wretch. He's thrashing other people for this tell-all kind of thing. He's gone into a whole commentary, bloody tabloid article about it, a whole expose about his thoughts and his feelings. And it's fine for him to create that. I do think Piers Morgan enjoys jumping on the Meghan and Harry bandwagon because it's so easy. And the demand is there in terms of people want to know about Harry and Meghan's lives, whether they like it or not, whether they admit to it or not. People do want to unpack Meghan and Harry because they've done something that no other royal before this has done. It remains to be seen if Piers Morgan is going to finally leave these two alone and just get on with his life, because at this point, it is getting quite boring. I think he needs to move on. I think he needs to find a hobby um, and just let 
them live. They've moved out of this country. They've gone for a new, better start, a better life to get away from the media. Harry even talks about uh, in the last sort of documentary type of uh, interviews that he did, he talks about how he felt that the media drove his mother to her death and he didn't want history to repeat himself. So he he's openly put that out there and the fact that people keep hounding him, there's so many negative articles, so much negative press around these two and they just want to be left alone. They've, they've moved out the royal family home they've moved they've separated they've detached themselves away from the royal family because they just want to move on now at the same time i can also see that they've got bills to pay you know it is this is going to be a, a big cash cow for megan and harry there's no doubt about that a netflix documentary uh i'm sure this the deal itself was a lot a lot of bucks but i just think it's hypocritical for someone like piers morgan to turn around and say oh they they shouldn't be talking about this. They shouldn't be they shouldn't be exposing secrets and this and that. Pierce, you've made a career of exposing people. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I wanted to get a video out there. If you want to see more stuff on Meghan and Harry, the royal family. Uh, if you've not seen the Cristiano Ronaldo, the rise and fall. All oh, thanks to Pierce Morgan again. Uh, go watch that on my channel. I will see you in the next video. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.